Hello children, this is Teacher Connie. Once again, welcome to our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. Before we proceed to our online discussion, let us have first our drill. In this activity, you are asked to fill in the missing terms in the number series. Remember, you have only 10 seconds to answer each number. Are you ready now? Let's start! Number 1 18, 24, 30 Your 10 seconds starts now. Go! Time is up, children, and the correct answer is... 36, 42, 48 Number 2 26, 39, 52 Your 10 seconds starts now. Go! Time is up, children. And the correct answer is... 65, 78, 91 Number 3 28, 42, 56 Your 10 seconds starts now. Go! Time is up, children, and the correct answer is... 70, 84, 98 Number 4 24, 36, 48 Your 10 seconds starts now. Go! Time is up, children. And the correct answer is... 60, 72, 84 Number 5 18, 27, 36 Your 10 seconds starts now. Go! Time is up, children, and the correct answer is... 45, 54, and 63. Today, we will discuss about finding the least common multiples of 2 to 4 even numbers using the ladder method. Before we continue, let us recall the following. First, Prime numbers are numbers that have exactly two factors, one and the number itself. Second, two is the smallest and only even number that is prime. And lastly, the third one, the list of 25 prime numbers below 100 are as follows. Let us unlock the different terms that you might encounter during our online discussion. The first one is the word multiples. Our numbers obtain when we multiply a certain number by a whole number. Second, common multiples. Our multiples that is common are the same with the other given numbers. And lastly, common prime divisors are the common factors that are divisible by the given numbers. To start with our online discussion, let us read the story problem. Come children, join me in reading this aloud. Richard and Francis collected used plastic bottles for recycling. They arranged the bottles in boxes of 8 and 12. What is the least number of bottles they gathered? Let 
us answer the following questions. First, what is asked in the problem? And the answer is, what is the least number of bottles they gathered? The second question, what are the given in the story problem? And the answer is, bottles and boxes of 8 and boxes of 12. Question number 3. What are the clue or keyword or words in the story problem? And the answer is, list number. To solve this story problem, we need to find the least common multiple of 8 and 12. How? We are going to use the continuous division or the composition method or ladder method. The first step is to write the numbers horizontally. Let us use the given numbers from our story problem which are 8 and 12. 8 and 12 will be our dividends. Then, we will divide this by the smallest prime number, which is 2, because 8 and 12 are divisible by 2. 8 and 12 divided by 2, we will get the answers of 4 and 6. We will write the answers below our dividends like this. Next step is to continue the process of dividing the numbers until no given numbers have a common prime divisors or common factors. In this case, we will divide 4 and 6 by the smallest prime number which is 2 because 4 and 6 are still divisible by 2 and we will get the answers of 2 and 3. If you will notice, 2 and 3 have no common prime divisors or common factors except for 1, so we will stop the division process. 2, 2 here are our common prime divisors or common factors, while 2 and 3 will be the remaining set of quotients. Next step is to get the product of the common prime divisors or the common factors and the remaining set of quotients to get the least common multiple of 8 and 12. So let us multiply. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. We will get the answers of 24. Therefore, the LCM of 8 and 12 is 24. To answer the question in our story problem regarding what is the least number of bottles they gathered? And the answer is, the least number of bottles they gathered is 24. Remember this, children. Least common multiple or LCM is the smallest non-zero number that is a multiple of all the numbers in the set. Steps in finding the least common multiple of the given numbers. First, write the numbers horizontally and find a prime number that will divide the numbers if possible. Then, Divide the numbers by that prime number and write the quotients below the dividends. Second, copy any numbers not divided below the dividends. Third, continue the process until no two numbers have a common prime divisor. And lastly, multiply all the prime divisors and the last set of quotients to get the LCM. Children, let's have some practice exercise. Are you ready now? Let's start! Our first example, we will use the numbers 18 and 24. 18 and 24 will be our dividends. Then, we will divide this by the smallest prime number, which is 2, because 18 and 24 are divisible by 2. 
18 and 24 divided by 2, we will get the answers of 9 and 12. We will write 9 and 12 below our dividends like this. Then, we will continue the process of dividing the numbers until no given numbers have a common prime divisors. In this case, we will divide 9 and 12 by the next prime number, which is 3, because 9 and 12 are no longer divisible by 2, instead by 3. So 9 and 12 divided by 3, we will get the answer of 3 and 4. If you will notice, 3 and 4 have no common prime divisors or common factor except for 1. So we will stop the division operation. 2 and 3 here are our common prime divisors or common factors, while 3 and 4 will be the remaining set of quotients. Next step is to get the product of the common prime divisors or common factors and the remaining set of quotients to get the least common multiple of the given numbers which are 18 and 24. So let us multiply. 2 times 3 times 3 times 4, we will get the answer of 72. Therefore, the LCM of 18 and 24 is 72. For our second example, we will use the numbers 4, 8, and 20. 4, 8, and 20 will be our dividends. Then, we will divide this by the smallest prime number, which is 2, because 4, 8, and 20 are divisible by 2. 4, 8, and 20 divided by 2, we will get the answers of 2, 4, and 10. We will write this below our dividend, like this. Next step is to continue dividing the numbers until no given numbers have a common prime divisor. In this case, we will divide 2, 4, and 10 by the smallest prime number, which is 2, because 2, 4, and 10 are still divisible by 2. We will get the answers of 1, 2, and 5. If you will notice, 1, 2, and 5 have no common prime divisors or common factors except for 1. So we will stop the division process. 2, 2 here are the common prime divisors or the common factors, while 1, 2, and 5 are the remaining set of quotients. Next step is to get the product of the common prime divisors or common factors and the remaining set of quotients to get the least common multiple of 4, 8, and 20. So let us multiply. 2 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 5, we will get the answer of 40. Therefore, the LCM of 4, 8, and 20 is 40. For our example number 3, we will use the numbers 3, 8, and 15. 3, 8, and 15 will be our dividends. And in this particular example, there are only two given numbers have a common prime divisor, and they are 3 and 15. So we will divide 3 and 15 by the next prime number, which is 3, because 3 and 15 are divisible by 3. So let us divide. 3 and 15 divided by 3, we will get the quotients of 1 and 5. So what will happen to 8? We will just copy 8 below our dividends together with the quotients of 1 and 5, like this. 1, 8, and 5. And if you will notice, children, 1, 8, and 5 have no common prime divisor or common factors except for 1. So therefore, we will stop the division process. 3 here will be our common prime divisor, and 1, 8, and 5 will be the remaining set of quotients. The next step is to get the product of the common prime divisors or the common factors and the remaining set of quotients to get the least common multiple or LCM of 3, 
28 and 15 which are our given numbers. So let us multiply. 3 times 1 times 8 times 5, we will get the answer of 120. Therefore, the LCM of 3, 8, and 15 is 120. That's all for now, children. See you in our next online journey.